Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Faison Zadrudin, your Public Address Events Coordinator, and this is module number three of Original Oratory, and this is entitled No Other Than Research. Uh, research is something that is super skewed, and sometimes we don't grasp correctly on how to properly research and how to cite um, and how to properly link it to our topic, so I'm here today to basically make this a little bit easier for all of us. Um, how to find research. Google books, the internet is your best friend. Uh, read, find books on Amazon or go to your library that have links to your topic and just sit there for hours upon hours, read, better understand what your topic is about and what other people, not only you, think about this specific issue. Uh, you want to find credible sources. What do I mean by credible? This might sound a little bit elitist, but people that are part of big magazines and newspapers and websites that we know of, such as the New York Times, the Huffington Post, the Washington Post, people with expertise and degrees on what you have to say, your specific topics, that have wrote numerous articles and sample studies about what you have to say. And recency, or having it recent, is a very big problem in original oratory that we face. Some people will credit sources from 2003, 2002, 1984, 1645, 1799, 1738, um, all okay, but you want to find the source that is in direct correlation with what you have to say that is the most recent source possible because that shows that it's a problem now that hasn't already been solved, that um, it's still a reoccurring issue that we need to fix. So if you find something from 1945 that says racism is bad, obviously it's bad, but if you can't find anything other than 1945, then obviously you're not doing your research correctly. Uh, it always has to have a link to the topic. A lot of times people throw in research for the sake of having research there and sounding smart when it has no link to what you have to say. Always make sure to think, how does this relate to what I have to say? Is there a transitional phrase or sentence I can put in? to properly link what I have to say to my topic, um, and that leads me into how to properly cite. A lot of times people just throw in research in the middle of a paragraph because it thinks they support what they have to say, when in reality, I could talk about Martin Luther King and randomly cite the day he died and have absolutely no correlation to what I'm saying. Um, how to cite is very, very important because it gives you an opportunity to set up and have the judge and the audience better understand what you have to say. It clarifies anything that could be confusing or um, a little bit distant for all of us. Basically, how to cite is set up a transitional phrase into your citation, credit the person or the date that you are citing. A lot of times, judges are looking for specific dates and back to recency. So if it's July 4th, 2016, the Huffington Post states blah, 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 blah. You want to cite the entire thing. and if you can cite the person who wrote the article and his achievements, whether he's a professor at the University of Chicago or um, a doctor in your specific field that you are currently citing. Make sure to get specific so that everyone understands that what you have to say is credible and that people buy into what you have to say. Again, it sounds a little elitist, but to gain credibility, these people have put in hours of work and studies into um, what they have written, so let's give them the time of day and show everyone the amazing work that these people do through our amazing network that we're trying to do.